Hello, Janice. Sure enjoyed this tape, especially the last part of it. You kept the la best part to the last. Of course, I know you said that all those steam engines, not just telling Uncle Richard and Aunt Dorothy and Mama that, boy, oh, I got to go there next fall, like next Labor Day, because I got to, one day I got to start the fire in one of those steam engines, you know, put, build the, put the paper in and the wood and get my fire started. And then, then after I get a little bit of steam up, then I can turn the blower on and let it fan my fire and watch my water in the boiler. Then in the, uh, I'm going to thrash that day, and the next day then I'll go down to where that farmer's farming the horses, and then I'll go over there for get up at 4 o'clock in the morning and uh, go out and curry the horses and put the harness on them and eat breakfast. And <laughs> Uncle, Uncle Richard said, I know what you're going to do. <laughs> he said, <laughs> so anyway, uh, that's really wonderful. Amanda, of, of all the things that I have to miss in my life, you have to get. Uh, but anyway... Anyway, uh, I could sure take that old steam engine and hook it off the separator and put the separator between the stacks and turn the engine around and belt it up and line it up and blow the whistle just like you said. This is something wonderful. And, you know, you're talking about that Stanley steamer. They had one of those uh, at Minden last year. Joyce, Joyce and Alan uh, didn't see it, but I did. I was up early in the morning and... The guy had it all fired up. There was, in fact, there were six or eight people rode in those seats, in that, uh, in in in, uh, and and it he blowed the whistle on it too. Of course, uh, there if you, I, I don't know if you remember or not, but there they had the old antique automobile uh, parade from, uh, all from Minden on up to another town in Nebraska. I don't know just exactly where it was, but I really enjoyed that because they had the old two-cylinder automobile motor. You know the old gasoline motor he's talking about. So I saw a little bit of that, but that's nothing compared to those steam engines and locomotives, things like that. I, working on the railroad and on thrashing machines, that really sounds like home. Well, I better not take up any more time now and let Mom and, and Dorothy and Uncle Richard say some things to you, but that, that tape is really wonderful. I, I, I just, just love it. And uh, incidentally, uh, Joyce called a while ago about... Oh, I just got home from church when Mama was just talk, started talking to her. So we got to hear her voice again. And incidentally, I want to tell you this yet, that I asked her whether it would be all right if Mama and I stopped at uh, Atkins and went to your Christmas program on Christmas Eve, and then we could go from there to her place. And she said it sure would be. And then she asked me whether we would mind to stay with her and Alan in the trailer over there instead of on the farm all the time. And I said, why, sure, we're going to stay with you in the trailer. I said, we might stay on the farm a few nights. But uh, she said, well, I'll have room for you, too, and, and, uh, and Janice, too. So I was wondering, are you going to maybe ride with us on train? I said, maybe to Mama, and maybe we could just buy a ticket to Cedar Rapids and then go in your car. But... Mama said in the wintertime, the weather's so uncertain, and ice and snow and stuff. But we can see that's a little ways off yet. I'll say goodbye for now, and God bless you.